Okay, I removed my pastry out of the freezer and I put it there just for long because it wasn't getting cold enough, quick enough. So I just stuck it in there for about 20 minutes. Okay, so it's now it's pretty firm. The butter's firm and that's what you want and you want to be able to roll it out. Okay, so just sprinkle that same piece of paper you had before. No, no need to waste paper. And then take your rolling pin and just put some flour on it. Put a little bit of flour on the top also because you don't want the pastry to stick to the rolling pin. Okay, so we are going to start in the center and move out. And you can just turn it, and that's why I like pastry paper, or excuse me, lined paper. It, the baking paper helps for the roller not to stick, or the dough to stick to the counter. And you can flip it if you'd like, um, just to make sure it's not sticking to the baking paper. Sometimes you get it too wet and then it won't come out off the baking paper, but if you get it firm enough in the refrigerator or freezer for a short time, it'll work really well. Okay, and we need to roll this out about a quarter inch thick or so. my pan periodically and figure out how much more I need to how much bigger I need to make it. Just go from the center on out. You can twist it as you go. Makes it nice and convenient. And you don't want to get it too thin because it is a tart. Um, you don't want it too thick either. You just okay. And it doesn't matter that it's cracked here because you can piece the tart together. Okay, that looks really good. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to flip it over. And then I'm going to take and press it against the sides before I take it off. It just makes it much easier that way. And then I'm going to remove my baking paper. And voila, it's really good. Okay, so there is a little crack here, but that's not a big deal. Now I'm going to take a knife, a table knife, and I'm going to leave some space here on the side. I'm going to just cut it about oh, a half inch from the side. And as you see, there's another, and all you do is just press it together. It's not a big deal at all. Your guests will never know. They will just enjoy this wonderful blueberry tart. Okay. And I will save this dough in my freezer for a week or two. And then I'll just make a small dessert tart for my husband and I for dinner sometime. Okay, and there's a little there's a little spot here. It's Little has a little hole, so I'm just going to patch it. And there's one right here too, and I'll just patch that. Okay. So then you just turn it over like this. Okay, and you're going to flute the edges. So just bend it over and go clear around the tart. This is a little thin right there, so I'm going to just add a little bit more right here. I'm just going to press it in and then flip it over. Okay. Okay. So now I'm ready to flute it. I'm going to, it's like a, a bird beak, and then your finger's going to go right into there. So you just pre press your... You can do it this way, too. It doesn't matter which angle you do it. You take the bird beak, and then this one finger is going to like feed the bird beak, okay? And then you're just fluting it all the way around, and you have this pretty fluted tart. Now, you don't have to flute a tart. You could just take your rolling pin and go over the top of it, and I'll show you that here in just a minute.
because a lot of times tarts don't have fluted edges. Um, they're just straight and you're certainly welcome to do that. If you were going to do that, you just take, let me show you here, you just take your rolling pin and just go over the top of it, your pan, and you'll cut it off perfectly and then you'll have this perfectly um, perfect edge, flat edge on the top. So you don't have to flute it if you don't want to. Okay, there is my tart pastry. And I'm going to take, okay, I need to mend this right there. Okay, let's take a, let's go get my blueberries and let's stick that in there. Okay, so here are my blueberries and I'm gonna just put those right here the bottom of my pan. Boy, it sure, I've said this before, but it sure smells good. Okay, and I'm going to get a spatula so that I can get all this sugar on the top. Okay, let's put the sugar in and put it in because I don't want to waste that. Okay, just spread that around. This looks like a little small, so because of the size of the berries in the pan, I'm going to actually remove the flute so that it there's not such a discrepancy in the depth of the tart. Okay, I'm going to just see what I can do here. I'm going to, I think, roll this over down. All I'm doing is just pressing this down. It's making a thick crust on the edge. I just happened to use too big of a pan this time. I should have used a smaller one. But as you see, it, it looks really good. Now I'm going to take my crumble and I'm going to stick it on the top. Okay, and it hardened, so I'm just going to mix it up a little bit here and it was supposed to harden. Okay, and just do this. And now you're gonna stick the crumble on the top of the blueberry tart. And then we're going to bake this at 375 for about 40 minutes, but I'm gonna check at about 30 and see how it goes. So once you finish putting this crumble on, go ahead and stick it in your preheated 375 degree oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. Okay, it's ready to go. As you can see, I just took the tart out of the oven. It's just absolutely beautiful. It browned perfectly. The crumble is just very nice. The smell is just amazing. And so it just, it only took 30 minutes in the oven. So watch it so that you don't um, burn it. And um, later on when I it cools, I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator, let it cool completely, and then take it over to my neighbors for a Christmas present. I'm gonna take one teaspoon of powdered sugar and just put it in there. And then I'm gonna just tap it lightly and sprinkle it around the blueberry tart and it just adds so much elegance to the tart. Okay, and there you have it. Bon appetit!